New ham radio operators can get a free radio. Go to QRZ.com, link in the description below, or go to GigaParts.com. This is the QRZ1 Explorer dual band ham radio that is given away for free. That is a conglomerate effort between Q the owners of QRZ.com and the owners of gigaparts.com. So if you get your ham radio license, you go fill out a simple form, they will ship you a radio for free. How cool is that? This radio has been out for a while. I think you've probably seen some videos on YouTube with it. They gave me one of these early on, and it was kind of like a flood of videos that, that went on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait a little bit. But hey, guess what? Today we have a new feature to the radio, and now it's off-grid capable. What does that mean? What does that mean? Off-grid capable. All radios are off-grid capable. It's kind of an interesting term if you think about it. All radios are off-grid capable because they don't require an infrastructure to work like a cell phone does or like a satellite phone does. Well, I'm going to give you my insights about what I think makes this radio a little bit more off-grid compatible. That's probably a better way to say it. A little bit more off-grid compatible because guess what? Here is the box with the radio. I'm not going to do an unboxing or anything. This is the battery that comes with the radio right here comes with its own belt clip of course desk charger that's great you see that right there what's the difference between this on the right and this on the left this is the one that comes with the box this is an add-on that they just recently came out with and guess what it does it charges via USB-C that's right USB-C not micro USB okay a lot of your ham radios today well a few of them a few of them do and a few of them don't. A few of them, the ones that have USB charging, which is few and far between, have micro USB. Not that necessarily wrong with that. Micro USB is certainly much more universal than a desk cradle or some proprietary plug that goes into the side of the radio. But you're starting to see more USB-C type charging uh, on your FRS and GMRS type radios. Well, guess what? This radio, the QRZ-1, is based off of a design of a dual band ham radio called a TYT UV88, but it is also a GMRS radio called a GM30, the Radiotity GM30. There's a couple of other model numbers. They're all basically the same form factor design. The difference is in the firmware of the radio. And this radio has custom firmware and it was written as part of the con conglomeration between QRZ and Gigaparts. While this radio may look the same and might even have the same hardware as some other radios, it has custom firmware and a custom manual, which was written for the new ham radio operator. So we're going to take a look at this real quick right now. This video is sponsored by Mezzi and Palomi Coax. Mezzi and Palomi, or m and Coax out of Italy, makes some of the best coax and best feed line available to the amateur radio community today from their smallest size around five millimeters to their largest size around 13 millimeters and beyond they offer something for everyone in every activity of amateur radio direct berry coax for your home shack and high temperature coax for those types of environments is also available from their catalog their evo or evolution pl259 connectors are some of the best i have ever seen in this industry if you want some of the greatest coax and feed line made for the amateur radio community today, check out the link in the description below to save a 5% discount. And thank you, Mezzi and Plumi, for supporting this channel. This is a close-up of the battery packs here. You can see the bottoms of them right there. This one has no extra port on it. This one has a flap with the USB-C port right there. Get it in the light. But not only is it USB-C chargeable and compatible, it's a larger battery. This stock battery on the left is 1400 milliamp hours. It's really small text, so it might be hard to see. 1400 milliamp hours here. This new battery with the USB-C charging is 2200 milliamp hours. So you get a larger battery that is easily more easily charged because you can just plug it into a charging bank and whatnot. And we're going to turn this on. We're going to see what it looks like. It comes up and it says Explorer QRZ1 on the screen. That's a very bright screen. Change the brightness. It was at 7. Change it down to 4. Actually changed it down to 2, and it was too dark to see. So that's good. There's a lot of uh, increments. The, the increments are, are large, so you can basically turn it up as light or as dark as you want. So it's got this menu here. It goes to... We were on 7 here. It starts at menu 0, 1, right there, for tone mode, and it goes down to 0... Uh, to seven. So firmware is MCU BS 1.66. You can reset everything there. That's just a 
There's the date on it, 2022, April 13th. Okay, so you can see what firmware is in your radio by looking at that menu right there. What I want to do is I want to program my all-star node. Pressing this button right here that says radio on it changes from your channel mode to VFO. It says VFO up here in the corner now. Now it says 02, which is the channel uh, memory channel number. It's only got two memory channels in it, 146.52 and 446.0. So I'm going to go to VFO mode, and I'm going to type in 446.500, which is currently where my all-star node is sitting, but it's not going to stay there much longer. Let's go to repeater off. Yeah, we want that. We're going to do simplex, tone select, tone. Mo okay, you got to do tone mode first. Transmit, receive, both, and off. We're going to do transmit tone, tone select, 192.6, or 192.8, whatever it is. I don't remember all the numbers. 192.8, that's it, is where the tone is. For my all-star node, there's not an exit button out of here, so... Hit the PTT. There we go. And that is that. That's what that sounds like there. Now I'm going to see if anybody's monitoring the system. KC5 HWB testing. All-star node. Testing a new radio. Looking for a radio check out there. KC5 HWB. And that is what the radio sounds like. It gets kind of loud. That was like just under half volume right there. KC5 HWB is in ruin monitoring the uh, All Star system right now. Uh, this is Ray. I'm here in uh, Galveston. Okay, just at that point in time is when my phone decided to ring and I had to take that call. But I heard there was a station in Galveston. Come back, please. I heard you loud and clear. You, 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 you know, you, 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 your Q5 coming in. There you go. All starts connected to my All Star system is connected to the tallest 440 repeater on the island of Galveston on the seawall. Okay, good deal, good deal. Thank you for coming back to me. I'm just testing out a new radio, recording a video about uh, how to program the radio into the All Star hub that I have set up here uh, into my Sherry Note, I should say. So 73 man, thanks for being out there. Good to hear somebody in Galveston. Don't uh, hear you guys down there much. I'll be down there myself next week, uh, so uh, maybe I can uh, catch you on the local repeater when I'm there. KC5, HWB. KC5, HWB. This is KF5, IZN. And uh, we hope you have a good day, and we're going to be clear. Roger, Roger, 73. KC5, HWB. And there we go. That's a good sound in radio. It just sounds good. It's got a loud volume to it. He said I was Q5, which means I'm, I mean, I'm a full quieting into the repeater. But I'm going into the Sherry node in the house. It's connected via All-Star, which is an internet-connected type system that's connected to the tallest repeater on, on the seawall in Galveston. It's on the tallest building on the seawall in Galveston, 440 machine dot down there, courtesy of KC5 FOG. So y'all can check out uh, that repeater if you're in Galveston. Check out my all-star system. My all-star hub is 43136. It's the one I'm connected to and monitoring most of the time. But this is a neat little radio. Check the links in the description below for how to sign up and get one of these radios for free if you are a new ham radio operator. As a side note on that, we're having a live stream class for the new question pool, which updated in July of 2022 on this channel on November 12th. Now, if you watch this video here, after November 12th, that pl class will be playable on YouTube forever. And I suspect it's going to be a pretty popular show, popular video on my channel. So I will link that in the description below also. If you want to get your ham radio license, you don't have an in-person class, you can watch the video. A lot of people have got licensed from the videos I've posted previously. So good luck to you. Put a comment below. Let me know what you think about this radio and about whether you're going to get your ham radio license in 2022 or 2023. 73.